We just got a Grand Design Imagine on the lot on consignment. It's one of the most sought after brands and manufacturers in the industry. And I'm just wondering, what's all the hype about? We're gonna find out. This is a 2022 Grand Design Imagine 2150 RB. They no longer make this floor plan. I don't know why, I haven't found out why yet, but I'll ask eventually. Now, some of the things that I notice is the fiberglass cap is two piece. And this is a little rougher material on the side, on the edges, but this is the same. So this reminds me a lot of Flagstaff or Rockwood travel trailers like the Micro Light or the Mini Light. I will say this though, this is actually taller. This reminds me more of the travel trailers I sold the dealers, well, like the Clipper and Vikings, where they put a taller rock guard on. But see, I'm starting to see that on Flagstaff, Rockwood, and Cougar as well. So that's no longer really something that only Grand Design does. But I find that very nice, a great design there. But still, it's almost identical to a lot of Forest River product. Batteries all the same, propane the same. So, so far I don't see a lot in how this has been hyped up. Now it looks like it's prepped for solar. Same thing that most of them are doing. They use Furion it looks like, which is the same as Forest River and a lot of Keystone uses. Now I could tell already this has a propane electric refrigerator. Bravo to Grand Design, keep that going. I love the propane electric refrigerator. To me, it's still the top dry campers paradise refrigerator. Uh, you got your water heater, it looks like it's propane, prep for backup camera, ladder, solid step. Now that's a nice size power awning. If you look, it goes almost the full length of the travel trailer. Outside speakers, again, same thing. This reminds me a lot, a ton, about the Flagstaff or Rockwood travel trailers by Forest River. So it doesn't look like this has more than what Forest River does yet. Underbelly is sealed, same thing as most Forest River product. Axles the same, leaf springs the same. So far, not much different. Not to say it's a not a nice looking trailer, but just everybody hypes this brand up and I, I just don't get why. So we're gonna see if we can find out. Okay, Thomas Payne Furniture, everybody uses that. Now that's kind of cheap. Look at this, this is like the paper mache stuff. That's really cheap and cheesy. See, if you go to a Flagstaff, a Rockwood, a Cougar, uh, a Jayco Eagle, you get the actual MC shades since 2020. That's kind of standard. They stopped getting away from that paper mache stuff. Okay, it's a rear bath floor plan. Okay, I gotta give props where props are due. That's a great position for the toilet and that's not sarcasm. So you gotta have some space here. You can't feel like you're in a coffin. And I always point that out to a lot of factories on floor plans, that if your toilet is not in a position where people don't feel like they're in a claustrophobic closet, you're in deep trouble. That shower looks like Palomino size. So Palomino makes big showers like that. Uh, some Cherokee product. Let's see at the... Okay, that's kind of nifty. Kind of tough though and weird, but that's kind of nifty. Pardon my sniffling today. I've had really bad allergies and it seems dusty in here. Okay, that's a lot of counter space. That reminds me of Shadow Cruiser. Uh, I don't like the dark wood. The wood, it's not real wood. This is not real wood, folks. This is the same material that everybody else is using. Now, I like the way it opens, so. See, that's that, unlike, let's say, a Coleman or a, or a Kodiak. This actually opens really nice. I actually do like that. That's good. That's high quality there. That means it's put together really well. Uh, I don't know. I think this is a waste of space here. I think you could have put like a cabinet door here. This could have been a whole pantry area. See right there. 
that you see a lot of manufacturers, a lot of brands will make that into a pantry instead of just putting hangables there. So don't know. You tell me in the comments section what you think. Don't you think a pantry should go here instead of this cabinet? I mean, to me, that cabinet's fine, but to me, you could have made this a lot taller all the way down and it wouldn't feel like a waste of space. That feels like a complete waste. It really does. Vizio TV, so everybody's using the same cheap TVs. Everybody's using the same appliances. Furion, uh, looks like Furion oven and stove, three burner. High point microwave, same as everybody else uses. Okay, here's a difference. Here's something different. This is different. This may be silly to point out, but this is different. This actually is longer than how Forrest River puts. I would say this is a good three, three and a half inches bigger than what Forest River does. So that is different than what other manufacturers are doing just based on size. Uh, let's see how the drawers open. I hope that's not a drawer. Yeah, it's rough. Hear that? So you hear that pull? It glides nice, but the pull originally is really rough. There we go. Cabinet works really good. Good counter space. Just real quick look through and see. Nah, same as everybody else. They put this stupid shelf here instead of just making it taller. I just make it taller for pots and pans, man. That's a mistake everybody makes. Yeah, same mistake. It's the same mistake every manufacturer makes. Okay, let's see. What else can we see in here? You got a 15,000 BTU air conditioner. Again, the manufacturer, I'm sorry, the customer wanted $30,000 for this. Okay, this is different. I actually, here's another difference. This reminds me a lot of Shadow Cruiser. Uh, Shadow Cruiser to me is one of the better floor plan builders in the industry just because they give you so much walking space. They may not be the best at everything, but they give you great walk around space. This is a lot of walk around space right here. This is huge. This is a small trailer and it is a actual full real walk around queen bed. That I can understand why people love that this this floor plan and this trailer. Um you know, you got the the crown ceiling, you know, it's the rounded ceiling so it feels taller. Again, something cruiser. So to me, it's kind of a mix of some of the best worlds. Looks like a lot of what they take is from Cruiser RV. Because, so somebody must have worked for Cruiser, for like Shadow Cruiser, MPG, um, you know, Striker. Somebody must have worked for them. Okay, guys, so if you like this video, please hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more interesting reviews like this one. And uh, if you want to support the channel, check the comment section down below. I've pinned a power tool that I really enjoy putting the manual jacks on. One last look around. And then, of course, uh, in the top right-hand corner, you're going to see another really cool review on a travel trailer that I just recently did.